people uh, if I'm back, back again with another video and today's uh, video is going to be about how to insert a watermark in your Excel worksheets. Now uh, Microsoft Excel does not have the capabilities of uh, doing a watermark natively in, built into it. So we have to uh, you know, the, the couple of uh, workarounds I will show you in this video and how to achieve uh, you know, the objective of inserting a, a watermark. So, like I said, I'll be showing you two different ways of uh, doing this. So, uh, let's get started. Now, what I have on the screen here is a sales ledger of a company that uh, supplies various products to fast food uh, restaurants and uh, burger uh, and sorry, not burger, but uh, pizza restaurants in uh, in the New York uh, state area. Now we have used this uh, sheet a few times uh, previously. Also, the exact same sheet that we did for pivots, I believe. Uh, so I'm just going to uh, use the same sheet again and uh, use it to show you how to do watermarks in two different ways. So. Uh, this is a sheet that we have here. If we do a pre preview, uh, this is what it looks like. And because this is the sales ledger, what we want to do is have the word confidential going across as a watermark on this sheet. Okay. So, uh, like I said, let's get started. The first uh, uh, way that we will we'll be doing this is we'll insert what we call a a. Uh, you know, so a smart uh, a word art okay so if you click on uh, insert and this guy here that's your word art and I'm gonna select uh, this guy here because you don't want it to be too colorful because that's going to distract from the actual text and this is nice and gray so we'll go ahead and select that okay so here it is I'm just gonna edit this uh, so that it's now raise comfy Okay, and I'm also going to go ahead and increase the font size so it, it's a little bigger. Okay, now this guy here, if you click on this, you can ma make this rotate. So I'm just going to make this rotate a bit. Okay, now. Let's do a print preview again. So you see, we've got half of the task done. We've got the word confidential going across, but there's a problem. Uh, the problem is, see, wherever you have the text of the word confidential going across, you cannot read the figures behind it. So what we need to do is, we need to uh, somehow make this text a, a bit transparent, so it's the the, the figures behind it show through. So I'm just going to go ahead and highlight that and do a right click and format text effects. Okay. Um, now, here, what we'll do is we'll increase the transparency. And as I uh, increase the transparency, you should notice over here that the numbers start showing up from behind this te this confidential text okay so as I uh, as it scrolls up you'll see the numbers slowly slowly uh, appearing okay so let me just do it a little faster they're just punching the numbers in okay uh, let me make this maybe 75 there you go now you see how the, the the numbers are showing through and if we were to do a print preview it looks nice it's got the word confidential going across on it and you can even read the numbers so that is one way of inserting uh, a watermark on your excel spreadsheet now i'm going to show you a different way I'm just, uh, let me hang on, let me just get rid of this. I'm just going to delete this. Okay, now, the second way of uh, doing uh, watermark is 
you fire up uh, Microsoft uh, PowerPoint and we'll use that to uh, actually create the watermark for us and then we'll bring it into into Excel I'm just gonna get rid of these guys here okay I'm going to insert a text box and I'm going to type confi potential and I'm just going to resize this a bit and I'm going to increase the I'm going to change the font maybe to a black change the color to a to a gray and I'm going to increase the font size there you go and see this uh, circle thing here I'm going to use that to rotate this a bit okay and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this oops sorry right click on this and Select the option save as picture. And I'm going to say uh, throw in the same um, folder where I have uh, you know, the DXL uh, file for this uh, tutorial. Okay, so this is done. We have saved this as, a, as an image. So I'm going to quit out of uh, PowerPoint. We don't need it anymore. And uh, I've got. so now I am going to be inserting a header so click on insert headers and footers um, essentially what, what it's saying is I have fro I had frozen the first four or five rows and said if you do this it's going to unfreeze okay no, no problem go ahead and unfreeze and I'm just going to reduce the size of it so here's your header. I'm going to go ahead and put the picture here. Okay. This is where we put the uh, we we'll put the picture. So go into design and in, this is the uh, by the way this is the header. Click on picture and from file and we will pick it up from this same folder. And that's the one that we had just created using uh, PowerPoint. Okay insert now even you just see a text here but when you click out of this header that that image should uh, uh, should appear on the sheet in the background okay so let me show you there you go and now if you were to do a print preview we have the word conference going across okay but what we want is we want this coming down okay and lining up you know it's, it's too far up so we want is coming down a bit so let's just skip out of this and what we'll do is we'll hit a couple of uh, cash returns and does uh, hit enter uh, you know the three of two three times and now if you see it has moved down maybe just once more there you go now if you do a print preview is uh, pretty nice nicely uh, maybe uh, you could bring it down just a tad bit more uh, because still uh, high up there you go so uh, that is how you would uh, insert a watermark using headers and then the advantage of this method over the previous method is because we have used headers it automatically goes on each page each sheet each page okay not I'm not I'm sorry not each sheet but each page so if this uh, uh, sheet goes on more than one page when you do a printout using uh, the word art that we used in the pre the, the method we used uh, the first uh, part of the video You'll have to do that. You'll have to insert that watermark on each page. Now, using headers, it automatically duplicates that on each page. So that so there, that, that's the advantage of. Uh,
doing a watermark in this way. Uh, that's all for this video. I hope uh, that you enjoyed uh, this video and if you did, please kindly give it a thumbs up and if you would like to see more videos like this, please subscribe. Thank you.